Look, up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman! Hey boys and girls, Scotty Cash here with the Pop Culture Network, continuing Superman Palooza. I mentioned the new movie coming out and some of the toys that I was going to get. So I'm going to take a look at the three and three quarter inch Superman figure first. Let's take a look at this box right quick like, yep, I already ripped it open all the craziness. Uh, this one is a split cycle Superman. It's pretty much like the only one without real action features. So that's the one I kind of wanted. Um, for, a, for a three and three quarter inch figure, I mean, you're going to get the basic. Nothing special about the box. Kind of neat art. Kind of neat pictures. You know, nothing, nothing too, you know, mind blowing. But definitely gets the job done. You know, not too bad at all. Um, this figure was uh, six ninety eight, so seven bucks for a seven inch figure. That's part of, you know, that's kind of the going rate. You know, give or take, depending on where you get it from. Uh, the back shows you um, an action figure picture of Superman with the bike, the bike sp uh, split apart. And then it shows another picture with the bike together. Shows some vehicles over here. Superman symbol on the bottom. You know, no, nothing, nothing too spectacular. Um, the bike is just a piece of plastic. You know, like a like a real soft plastic that comes together and obviously pulls apart. It has a little kickstand, and you can also sit him on it for no good reason whatsoever. Um, I guess maybe they're just making it kind of like the size of him so you know it fits him but what happens is there's handles inside the bike that fit to Superman's hands you know just like like a gun handle or something but and then that's where he is supposed to be grabbing and ripping apart there isn't any like action features like I mentioned earlier so it doesn't necessarily um, like pull apart your, you know, itself. I thought maybe because the hands aren't really supposed to do what they want them to do, maybe it automatically pulls apart, but that isn't the case at all. So you just got to kind of work with it to put them in there, and now he's holding it. You know, it, it, I would be okay with with the legs you like push together and for it to rip apart, but only if they made a normal version. Like this is probably considered the normal version. You know, you got the normal costume, you know, no special thrown punches or, you know, Superman kicks or anything or flippy flips or nothing like that. So, so I'm okay with the way it is. But, you know, the bike just pulls apart. Um, it's obviously way too heavy also for this figure to stand by itself. So, he just does that. Um, it almost doesn't want to stand by itself without holding the bike. Come on. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at him. <clears throat> the first thing you're going to notice is a cloth cape. Not too bad. I don't mind the cloth the cloth cape whatsoever. Um, I wish they would have done a little bit of a better job with blending the, the color of the cape that goes into his suit. Because on the top of his suit, it's actually plastic that looks like the cape is going into his suit. Um, I, I just would have been a... Uh, I wish they would have made a little bit of a different color. Again, it's a $7 figure. It's for kids. Kids aren't going to mind. Um, it's the same, it's the, it's the, it's, I mean, it's the suit from the movie. The articulation is going to go shoulders out, kind of. They do go full 360. The head goes full 360. Elbows bend, no wrists, no fingers. The legs go back and forth, but they're very, very restricted. You can't do too much with them. You know, uh, I can't stress enough how much this is the kid's figure. So for seven bucks, a kid's probably going to absolutely love this. And they're not going to care. They could care less that Superman can't rip this bike apart. I think they're going to have a lot of fun with uh, some of these figures. Um, overall, the, like the likeness of him, he kind of looks more like a cartoon character than the Superman movie. But again, it's a $7 figure. I don't expect much out of this one. I would like a little bit more, but you know... The, uh, the definition of the figure is good. The color of the blue seems to match throughout the whole thing. The red on his boots, the maroon match the maroon on the top of his cape. The, that I wish maybe this cape could be like maroon. But uh, hair looks good. I mean, it's a decent sculpt. It's not too bad. But uh, you can't really say too much about that. Um, well, that's it for this, this review. And until next time, I'm Scotty Cash. And I'm a howdy.